was a little incident. Um, bro, the truth is, yo, I'm chilling. Yo, I never really go out. Yo, I'm gonna be honest. So I go out, right? This is after the fight, after whatever, whatever, whatever. Let me make sure I'm, I'm not showing some crazy shit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just showing. So I go out, right? I go out to um Miami. I watch the fight. Slit. Get invited to this mansion party. They're hyped to have me there. I go there. Uh, they told me um, blue face, Lil Pump. You know that Lil Pump slapping video is from the same party. I don't know how everything happened there. A uh, blue face, Lil Pump, DDG is gonna be there. Um, before I even got to the fight, I think Annoying and Silky were gonna be guests of eight uh, Aiden. Um, I think Aiden was on stream or some shit like that. So, like, they were having a hold up at the gate. I remember they hit me like, yo, act. When you get in here, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, cool. They gave me tickets as, like, just an influencer. Whatever the case is, right? So, I'm like, all right, I'm going to make some strings. Also, I had some other all-access passes I was going to get. It's like, I'm going to make some strings happen that they could get in the part, get in the, the venue. Anyway, by the time I get there, they're already in. We link up with one of the people who are throwing the events. They bring us ringside. They give us a whole tour. I'm getting mobbed. I'm like, shit, really? I haven't, I live like in, I'm, nobody even really know me where I live at. But here I'm like, shit, this is like Comic-Con or some shit. I'm like, yo, everybody, academics, oh my God. Like, so I'm like, all right, cool. Anyway, I get by the ring, cooling. We got in mad late though, so DDG already fought. So he kind of came out. I think he had probably ice on his arm or something. I don't know why. But anyway, I, so I was like, damn, we missed your fight. He's like, yo, bro, I won. I said, please tell me you're not this thing out. They say he ain't he ain't knocked him out, but he won. Um, I see Almighty J there too. All kicking it. There's another, there's a couple other YouTubers. So we all chilling there. And really, when I was when, when I found them, I was really walking over to find silky and annoying because remember I was on the way to the venue and they were saying they couldn't get in and I was like when I get in when I get there I'm gonna make sure I'm good but they got him before I got there so I'm like where these niggas at I'm they gave me the whole tour of the shit I took pictures whatever I'm trying to find where these niggas at I see Almighty J I see DG so I start macking with them but I'm texting Silky don't talk where you at nigga the fuck they was in some suite while all that's happening um I remember um, Omari J says, yo, man, I don't fuck with that nigga annoying, man. He said, yo, when I see that nigga, I'm going to punch him out type shit. And I'm like, all right, bro, chill out. Like, you know, those are my, those are my homies too. Like, I'm about to go link with them too. He said, all right, just keep them niggas away from me type shit. Anyway, I tried to go find them. I never fought him. Found him. The fight's over. <clears throat> After the fight, we get in our car. We link up with Silky Annoying. It's Annoying's birthday at midnight. Um, I didn't know, I guess they didn't have any plans that night. So they were like, yo, act, we rocking with you. And I'm like, all right, cool. I got a bunch of invites. Rock with me. You know what I mean? I, I had a small group of people with me anyway. So I'm like, yo, cool. Like, I know I had three people with him. Silky, Silky's brother, and someone else. I'm like, let's go. Um, two options, Club 11 in Miami or a mansion party. The dude who was one of my plugs out there, like, I, 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 he's one of them dudes, you know, like finesse. So he was like, yo, I think he had promised the people at the mansion party, he said, yo, I could bring so and so and so and so and so and so. So I was one of the people. So he was like, yo, act. Even if you're going to go to 11, let's show up to this mansion party. You got to show face. Because I guess the guy's, he's always good to me. So I'm like, if you use my name to kind of help you get whatever, cool. I'm going to just show up, show face, and blah, blah. Now, I, he said, how many people with you? I gave like the names of people with me. But Silky and him coming. We get to the door. I was just lying. Because it's like, oh shit, Ack is it. So I come in. They're like, yo, who with you? I'm like, I point at Silky. I said, that's my security. <laughs> that's my I'm just pointing out random shit. Cause I had only like three or four names on my list. So I was pointing out random niggas, but like those are the other four niggas with, with them. I know it's a long story, but but you already know this. So we get in the party, cooling. You know what I mean? Oh, shit, I see a little pump performing. I'm like, oh, shit, pump here. Great. We getting drinks. We getting lit. I'm like, oh, this is dope. This is not bad at all. All of a sudden, and and this is where this is where the whack shit happens. So I'm going to talk about the whack shit in a minute. But I'm going to just fast forward 
and I'm gonna go to um the shit about um um annoying silky. So I guess they went upstairs. Well, I don't know if they went upstairs yet, but 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 one of the guys who had thrown the event, they were like, oh shit, act. Like they were breaking down some plan, I can't really say it, of they wanted to do some big multi million dollar event, this and third. They were trying to be like, yo, act, wouldn't this be cool? And they're showing me this, show me that. They bring me upstairs. Now there's people with me. I got my man Leaf with me. I got some other people with me. And like, so people are hovering in the whatever. So we eventually get upstairs. We're all chilling. I'm bumping into all people like, oh shit, who the f Anyway, we're all chilling, we're all drinking, we're just kind of whatever, whatever. This is where it's a slightly blur. All of a sudden, I kind of look up, and, and like, DDG just fucking appears. Like, just a fucking appeared. Wybin' Almighty J and, like, a bunch of other niggas. And they're all, like, pointing at it, annoying. They're like, yo, like, whatever, whatever. So, I'm lit. You know how I'm off the Henny. So, I'm like, what's going on up in this bitch? You know what I mean? So, at that point, I'm chilling. But all these dudes are pulling up. I quickly find out, and I remember, DDG don't fuck with annoying. Why be nobody? Jay don't fuck with annoying. Apparently, they're looking at him like, "Yo, all right, we got you here, nigga. We about to fuck you up." I'm looking at other niggas with them. Some niggas from Opa Lock. I'm like, they got Florida niggas with them. They got dudes that's their artists, their friends, their brothers, like all type of people. All type of. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck? And I just kind of get the feeling they're about to try to beat this nigga's ass. Now, they're not really addressing me. Now, this is where definitely the litmus, too. I, I, I started just taking over because I'm like, yo, bro, check it. Y'all niggas not about to jump in. That nigga was never going to get in this party without me. Like, it's his birthday. Him and his crew start rolling with me for the night. I don't care what he did. Y'all not about to just beat his ass while he with me. Because I'm just thinking, number one, he a streamer, a video get out <coughs> of him getting his ass beat. Bad. <clears throat> but also, I just always think, I'm like, yo, damn. Bro, he get his ass beat. Bro, you gonna look kind of crazy. Feels like, yo, you, you, you brought him here. So I'm like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. So I'm like, yo, bro, it's not gonna happen, blah, blah. We're arguing for like, it felt like five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. It gets to the point, me and Jay, because Jay's like, yo, act. You know the issues I got with this nigga. I want to fight him. He's right there. Annoy's right there, like, in a corner. Silky's around him. His brother's around him. There's another person around him. My nigga Leaf even around him. And they could tell that, obviously, they want to hurt one nigga, which is annoying. So I'm good, because my niggas would not be around annoying if I was in danger, right? But it's obvious that they want to fuck him up. And then I started telling, uh, I started telling, um, 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 Jay, well, I started talking to DDG first because there were a couple of people hovering around DDG like, yo, I'm gonna fuck that nigga up. Yo, just let, yo, like basically almost on some, yo, just give me the go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna just set it off on him. I'm gonna just sneak him. And I go to, to DDG, I'm like, yo, DDG, like, yo, DDG my nigga too. That, that's another thing. I fuck with everybody in the equation. I'm not going to fight with nobody, no side. The max that was ever going to happen, if niggas start swinging the center, third, whoever punch whoever, I'm, I'm going to try to just stop it. I'm going to wrap whoever up. You know, I, I'm under, like, pretty good confidence. Ain't nobody going to touch me there. There's a lot of respect for me there. And I'm just not trying to see nobody fight, right? Especially everybody I fuck with. Now, if it's a nigga I didn't know, fuck it. But I know everybody involved. <coughs> I'm talking to DDG. I said, bro, come on, dog. You just had a great fight, my nigga. Like, yo, yo, everything is going good for you. Bro, it's not going to be a good thing beating up Annoying. Like, bro, look at Annoying, bro. Like, he's in the corner. Like, bro, he don't even want no smoke, my nigga. Like, bro, like, and, and no disrespect to Annoying at all. That's my guy. I love Annoying. You feel me? But, like, Annoying ain't coming outside on someone, whatever, whatever. My nigga, Annoying be just cooling. Like, we gained this. At, bro, Annoying took a shot. I saw that nigga this. Like, that nigga couldn't even really handle that. So I'm like, bro, he, he cool. And, so, and also, I'm going to be honest with you. You're not about to beat my nigga up on his birthday. Come on, bro. So I'm telling DDG, I'm like, yo, bro, just chill, bro, whatever, whatever. And he's like, yo, act. You know this nigga been disrespecting. I said, yo. And I said to DDG, I said, yo, let me tell you this, bro. 
look at him. I know you I know you want to beat that nigga up type shit, but truthfully, bro, like bro, he gets the message, bro. Like if if you think that he was just dissing you or playing you on some internet twitch shit, he honestly gets the message because he's seen you now. Like, bro, it's it's not like the demeanor he would have on the stream, he don't have it here. He's just chilling. He's not trying to do all that. So you sent a message without even touching him. You only got to beat him up. And and he kind of like agreed. I could tell he felt bad. And I don't think he'll ever address it. I would hope he don't address it. I think he felt bad. He was like, I could tell because I seen when his eyes kind of changed. Like, Not like because he was looking at that nigga like, y'all don't fuck with that nigga. All of a sudden too. And it was kind of like, yo, you're right. But, but he said to me, so yo, act. Yo, I ain't going to do nothing, bro. But I can't, I can't tell what my what my niggas gonna do. This was a dude. I, don't, I ain't gonna say which dude it is. There was a dude right in his other ear, saying, "Yo, bro, just tell me. Yo, just say the word. I'm gonna swing on this nigga." Now I'm gonna keep it real with you. Annoying is over there. Silky's around him. Silky's brother and this other man. Leaf's kind of around, but still they got significantly more people. DDG alone got more people than everybody. <clears throat> so So I say that to him He say yo act I ain't gonna do nothing But I can't help What my people gonna do Anyway I'm gonna be honest And this is why I'm, I'm, I'm gonna agree with Jay And me thinking He was telling the truth Jay actually Started And cause I st I went from DDG Straight to Jay Jay started shouting <clears throat> Somebody catching a fade. If that nigga not catching a fade, what are y'all with him catching a fade? And I'm going to be honest with you, bro. In hindsight, if you've been in a situation, like, bro, in hindsight, he's saying that because he could get the sense niggas is about to jump annoying. So he's shouting that shit that niggas know he won his once. So even niggas with DDG is kind of watching to see, all right, who finna give Jay's ones? He's shouting it. He not shouting it for no reason. I want I want to fade with that nigga. And so I'm, I kind of slide over to Jay. I said, Jay, Jay, stop it, bro. Like, nigga, he not about to catch no fade. Now, the whole time I'm redirecting Jay's energy to me, I'm like, nigga, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Because he's looking to know. I could tell he, he angry, bro. He angry. I don't know the full extent of their problems. They used to be real cool before me and me and Annoying was cool. I don't know the full extent of their problems. But he's angry, so I'm trying to shift his direction to me. Because I know if it's anybody in the whole situation that got mutual respect, DDG respect me, Jay respect me, they respect me. So I'm like, shift the energy to me and whatever. Shit, bro. And, and he's on some shit like, yo, act. You know what this nigga been saying about me. Why the fuck you protecting him? Like, the nigga right there, like, let that nigga fight his own battles. And I'm like, yo, bro, I brought him here. It's his birthday. I'm saying all type of shit. Yo, he got sick of self, bro. Bro, like, does he look like he want to fight? Like, I'm saying everything. Now, I got to say, because I'm not no capper, I, I keep it 100. I love everybody involved in that situation. So I ain't going to come here and make nobody look better than they should. Everything I'm saying, Silky... Silky's brother, this other nigga, is wit annoying, and they're not saying nothing. But I'm going to be honest, the tone of what I'm getting is like, yo, they're looking like, yo, how this shit going to go? Because if y'all, if, if, if people going to bomb on him, we going we gonna to try to fight back type shit. You feel me? Cool. Me and Jay get into it because Jay is tight. Jay want Jay to fight somebody or fight annoying. And I'm telling him, nobody's about to fight tonight. Me and Jay, Jay's looking at me like, yo, act, yo, stop all that shit, nigga, yo. You the problem with niggas like that? Yo, you know what he be doing, and now you protecting him. So then I got a jam like, yo, Jay, stop it, nigga. You talking about the disrespect? I'm like, nigga, who more disrespectful than me? Like, what you talking about? Like, you talking about what shit that he said? Nigga, I said way more disrespectful shit. I said shit about DDG. I said shit about you. What's up? So, again, I'm whatever, whatever. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to give credit to Silky and my nigga Leaf. They did something, 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 because we've been talking for 30 minutes. That's I think that's what my voice is probably, though. We are shouting. DG's cooling. He's just kind of on the corner just kind of watching. You feel me? But his niggas is, 
his niggas just ready to go. Jay, he trying, he trying to catch a fade or do something. I'm going to be honest. Jay didn't look like he was trying to jump nobody. I'm going to be very honest. Eventually, which was smart, they get annoying downstairs and coincided with the Uber coming there. We're on like this little island shit. It felt like an island. Because when we had GPS to place in Miami, it said it was in the middle of the water, but you had to drive on this thing that kind of drove off the mainland. It was kind of like, it felt like a little island. Annoying, annoying, got out there before everybody. I remember I was still talking to Jay. They, they must have noticed, like, wait, the nigga we want is gone. Niggas swam, moved me, and start moving in front of me, trying to, like, go after annoying type shit. By the time I get there, annoying, by the grace of God, he's out, and he left. He hopped in an Uber. Or he was, I don't know where he was at, but he was not in the vicinity. He left. By the time I get downstairs, I napped out a couple of niggas. I get downstairs. They surrounded Silky a little bit. Because now they're looking at Silky like, yo, nigga, why are you protecting this nigga? And if you protecting him, we want to fight you type shit. And, and, and again, I'm going to be honest. Even though, like, the only thing I'm going to hear to tell you, bro, I'm not no lying ass nigga. Nobody except the niggas that was... Except DDG niggas and why being Almighty J was on some shit like let's fight. Everybody else was like, yo, wait, why y'all mad? Diffusing, whatever, whatever. So this is why I can't allow annoying or anybody else to act like, yo, we was with whatever. No, we weren't. Don't do that. Also, don't lump me into it. Let's be very honest. This is how shit continues. This is how I look bad. Cause both of them niggas, when I talked to them the day after, they said, act. The only reason we ain't jump that nigga, put hands on him some way, is out of respect for you. I hope this don't come back to bite us, where that nigga is saying some shit. Like, we couldn't, or we was too pussy to do something, because we only didn't fuck him up because of you. And if you weren't there, we would have fucked him up. So that's why I look at it, I'm like, yo, bro. Bro, I told him niggas, I said, yo, if y'all catch annoying tomorrow at brunch, y'all do what y'all gotta do. But while he here with me, you can't do it. So that's my only thing in terms of trying to say, bro, if you're going to discuss the event, there's only three ways to discuss it. It's three statements. Annoying did not get touched. That's a fact. Did he get pressed? Yes. Did, uh, uh, did he get checked? Yes. That's it. Did he have uh, four things? Did he have real niggas by his side? Silky, Ray, me who stood up and made sure nothing happened, yes, that is it. Anything else other than that is cap. I'm telling you that right now. Y'all know I don't lie about a motherfucking thing. That is the truth, the only truth. God help me so. I probably messed that up. Anyway. Oh, oh, so so anyway, I don't know who was even recording this. I got to show you this other thing. So that's the silky annoying shit. I seen this new thing. I said I got checked. I'm gonna I'm I'm play out the video. And I'm gonna explain exactly what happened. I know I, I can't even lie. Like, bro, y'all name a more truthful nigga than me. I, I want y'all to. YouTube.com. I'm gonna type it in there. Oh. Academics whack one. Okay, perfect. Is it this? Yeah, I think it's this. Is it this? Order on one. Oh my god. <laughs> Today. <coughs> Wait, I got whack zero zero. Whack one hundred. There we go. And truth be told, I'm I'm really only addressing this. Um, Amen. I'm only addressing this just because I see the other shit going on. I don't care to address it, and y'all should know I'm not no liar. I've never lied about nothing. Y'all could know. When Casanova thing happened, I will always tell y'all the truth. If whatever y'all took from that Casanova thing, if whatever the summation is for y'all, it's cool. I don't lie about shit. But I'm going to play this shit. I don't even know who this dude is. But I think there's some commentary over it. Well, maybe I should just mute him. And y'all can just watch the video. Hold on, hold on. Because if I react to him, he's going to think this is a back and forth, and I don't want to do that. All right. 
<clears throat> I think it's a loop video. Okay. <clears throat> Just watch. That's me. Hold on, let me go back.